some baseball news, and big baseball news at that. Uh, D.D. Gregorius is now officially a free agent. Now, his contract had run out, and he had made something like 13 or $14 million last year, and it was a subpar year for him. So the Yankees had the opportunity to offer him a $17.8 million qualifying offer, which I think he would have taken. So all of a sudden, they'd have $18 million essentially sunk into the shortstop position, and he'd have a chance to reestablish his value, hit the free agent market. Yankees did not extend him the qualifying offer. Now, they could end up resigning him at a lower price, but by not extending him to 17.8, that means that if he signs somewhere else, they do not get a draft pick. So they didn't extend the qualifying offer to Brett Gardner either. That makes sense because they could still sign him, but not for the 17.8. Well, so they lose any chance at a draft pick for Didi. But don't the Yankees always look at things as, at the end of the day, if he takes it, I don't want to pay somebody $17.8 million if I don't believe he's worth $17.8 million. Right. That's why and they, they probably didn't do don't it. believe that right. he's worth that. And all their free agents, Gregorius, Gardner, Betances, Encarnacion, Romine, and Mabin, none of them were offered the qualifying offer, which makes sense. And this also has a... This next uh, announcement has quite, quite an effect on the Boston Red Sox. A lot of people thought that J.D. Martinez was going to opt out of his contract. He decided not to. Mm. So the Red Sox are on the hook for $23.75 million. He has two more years left on his deal because it's a dumb deal that they signed him to for them. He can opt out again next year, which means that you're taking his trade value away. If, in fact, the Red Sox and Heim Bloom can trade him, then they could keep Mookie Betts. If they can't trade J.D. Martinez and get rid of that contract, they've got to trade one of the best players in baseball. And they're going to be, they're going to be bad next year if they do that. That is a big blow to trade Mookie Betts, and what a message to send to your fan base. So they are in hot water because J.D. Martinez did not opt out, and they thought that he would. And J.D. Martinez, I think, is smart because I don't think the money's out there for a guy who can't no, play a position. it's not. So then it narrows down to just the teams in the American League because he can only be a DH. Yeah, right. he can play occasionally right field. He's not a good outfielder. He's just not. So he's smart. I'll take the 23.8. If I put up 60 home runs, maybe I'll opt out next year. But the, the contract was weighted in his favor for sure, really weighted in his favor.